Hey everybody, welcome back to Guns and Gadgets, the premier source for Second Amendment news. If you all remember back to the beginning of the two weeks to flatten the curve, you know, the <coughs> there were a couple states that uh, shut down anything related to the Second Amendment. Gun stores, ranges, uh, permitting process. And, uh, you know, they were sued and they were forced to, you know, go back to the way it's supposed to be. You know, stop it. Well, now that there's a new strain of... <coughs> There's a new strain of tyrants, and uh, they're going to try to shut down the Second Amendment again. We're going to talk about Connecticut right here. I'm going to put this press release on the screen here, and this is from the CCDL. That's the Connecticut Citizens Defense League. And Connecticut has shut down the Connecticut firearms permitting and sales system. So if you live in Connecticut right now, uh, you're, you're kind of screwed. So follow along with me. The Connecticut Citizens Defense League announced today that it has filed an emergency motion in federal court seeking an immediate status conference in its continuing lawsuit against Governor Lamont and Commissioner Rovella to stop the state's latest violations of the Second Amendment to the United States Constitution. In Connecticut, in order to purchase a firearm or ammunition, one needs a permit. In order to apply for a permit, an individual needs to have their fingerprints taken by law enforcement. Last year, tyrant Governor Lamont issued an executive order which effectively shut down the system of fingerprinting individuals wishing to obtain such a permit, effectively preventing anyone in Connecticut who did not already possess a firearms permit from exercising his or her constitutional right to keep and bear arms. On May 9, 2020, CCDL and others brought suit in federal court against the governor tyrant, the commissioner of the state police, and others, seeking an order that if the state is going to require fingerprints to exercise a constitutional right, which in itself is unconstitutional. The state must immediately resume fingerprinting. On June 8th, that's how important the federal courts think of our Second Amendment. A month later, the federal court ordered the governor to rescind his executive order and to resume fingerprinting and processing firearm permit applications. The court ruled that if the state mandates citizens to utilize a given state-imposed procedure in order to exercise the fundamental constitutional right guaranteed by the U.S. Constitution, the state violates that fundamental right when it prevents individuals from accessing the state-mandated procedure. Under order of the federal court, the state restored the system. Now, in open violation of that court order, the state of Connecticut has once again shut down the fingerprinting system in Connecticut. Even more troubling... Connecticut has also effectively shut down the state's firearm purchase approval system, making it virtually impossible for most law-abiding citizens of the state, including numerous CCDL members, to purchase a firearm of any type. The system requires an FFL to call the state by telephone and get a verbal authorization to sell a given firearm to a given buyer. Many federal firearms licensees in Connecticut have long complained about the subjective nature of this system and that often firearms purchase authorization requests are delayed, denied, or the phone line simply clicks off when the prospective purchaser has an Asian or Hispanic sounding name. Now, the entire system has collapsed due to a so-called computer upgrade. It is virtually impossible to purchase a firearm in Connecticut or for federally licensed dealers to sell one. Many Connecticut FFLs are forced to employ multiple people to do nothing but dial the telephone, hoping against all hope that during the entire workday, one call might be answered by the state and that FFL might be able to make a sale, a single sale. After thousands of calls over the course of an entire day, an FFL may not get through to sell a single firearm. On July 20th, yesterday, 2021, the CCDL filed an emergency motion for immediate status conference with the court seeking to stop the state's most recent and egregious constitutional violations. CCDL believes that only the federal courts can stop the state of Connecticut from its renewed, exasperated, and continuing violation of the Second Amendment rights of its members. Now, I could see, now they're saying this is a computer upgrade. Maybe it's a glitch, maybe it's not. And if it is a glitch, then maybe they shouldn't have the new system go live until it's like tested and in place and then unplug the previous system. Connecticut wasn't the only state that canceled the Second Amendment per se. Um, Massachusetts was one, and thanks to uh, everybody, Goal, GOA, Firearms Policy Coalition, Second Amendment Foundation, Second Amendment Attorney, uh, thanks to all of those folks who got joined together, we sued the hell out of Massachusetts, and everything was forced to be opened back up. Now Connecticut's done it again. Guys and gals, if you live in Connecticut, sound off down below if you have any other information. I know that people are on top of it, but it shouldn't be this way. 
and they're just going to keep pushing and pushing and pushing until we're backed into a corner. Thought I'd give you this information. This is something big that's happened to just one of the 50. However, if it can happen here, they're gonna make it happen in other places. Now, yeah, maybe it was just a software glitch, but when your state legislatures and your US legislators are about as anti-gun as you could possibly humanly get without being named Bloomberg or Soros, I, I tend to think that uh, otherwise. Guys and gals, let me know what you think down below. Until we see each other again, be safe, stay vigilant, carry your weapon. If you want the Second Amendment news, no matter where it happens, good, bad, ugly, or indifferent, please consider subscribing to Guns and Gadgets. This is where you're going to get it. And uh, I thank you for your time. I'll see you on the next one. Take care, everybody.